Hi everyone, welcome back to my AP Art History channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Kate, an AP Art History student who is helping other fellow AP Art History students to study for the AP exam and just help them out with whatever they need because I know it's getting harder as the year goes on. So I hope this video helps you. Today we are going to do some ink and art. Um, we're gonna focus on one specific piece and it's going to be the All Tokwapu Tunic. A lot of these names are very hard, so I'm going to put them at the bottom of the screen. Just a little disclaimer at the beginning because I know it's very hard to pronounce these names and I don't even know if I'm getting them right. So I will definitely put the spelling there for you. So let's continue reviewing the ink and art. Um, this all Tokwapu tunic was created in 1450 through 1540 and it's a rectangular piece that has a slit down the center to give room for the head and it's then folded in half with the sides sewn for the arms. This tunic is made up of various smaller designed rectangles which are called Tokwapu. Each of the individual tokapu are symbolic of the individual who wears it, so their social status, events, or places. Each of them is dyed in bold colors, as you can see in this tunic, and the tunic has many tokapu, which makes this particular one a tunic of the emperor, Sapa Inca. The individual tokapu designs represent the different places, social statuses, and people of the Incan Empire, so it covers a large piece of cloth with many varieties like this one and dyeing these fabrics took a big amount of work to dye the fabrics to vibrant colors you can especially see that in this garment the red colors were especially hard to get vibrant so it required the maker to grind bugs from cacti and transfer that color to the garment and the blue and red dyes used in this tunic represent the top resources needed in order to make these tunics. So the amount of labor it took to make this kind of garment is why these were reserved for high status textiles. And the textiles were given to the royal as gifts and they were also buried as a sacrifice to Inti, the sun god. These cloths also represented the gods and religious images that reflect the cosmological concepts. So these tunics, when worn, marked the changes of life cycles and as a mark of age in social status. That is it for the Alto Quapu tunic. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget, you can comment down below any recommendations you have for other videos. Um, and I always try to do what's recommended to me, so I will definitely get to that. Thank you so much for watching.